All right, so my friend asked me to show me the inside of the Nintendo and show him where the 72 pin connector was and we did, we pulled it apart and I showed him the 72 pin connector and we took it out and we cleaned the contacts and stuck it back on uh, just so it'll make a little bit better connection and then we noticed that this part here, which is where the game goes in on top, would sit in here, wasn't latching properly and we couldn't figure out why it refused to latch. Well, after doing some research and looking at how it works, and I don't know how well you're going to be able to see on here, but you got this little pin that runs in there, and it wasn't making a good connection. And after researching for a little bit, we discovered something that I'll show you here once I have a chance to take it apart. Now, what we discovered here is that you've got that little pin in there, and it rides in and out of a groove in here that you can't see but it moves right and slides into the groove and then when you push down it again it goes left and comes out and that is dependent on this little piece of copper here and what holds the pin in place is this other small little piece of copper that used to be attached right here and it is no longer there so what we decided to do was take the two pieces and let me a favor, hold that, would you? Kind of aim at it for me. Oh, there you go. And we slid it back together into here, like so. And then took a piece of paper and slid it in on top of that, fold it up nicely and then slid the whole thing back into here and now a nice solid connection so if anybody has that problem that's what it is this tiny little piece of metal has busted and come off and you can fix it with a folded piece of paper in about 15 minutes so, anyway, we discovered that while we were putting it back together. He recommended that I shoot a video and put it on YouTube. There you go.